it's Monday, Monday afternoon and I put up a new vlog yesterday which meant vlogs have started again. So, pick up the boys from school. Hi. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I haven't said that for a long time. Um, it's the 1st of February. Okay, we're going to Iceland to do shopping for the week. I should have done it like yesterday, but I didn't want to leave my house. So we're walking, we're here, just need to cross this road. We had bangers and mash. I was kind of craving it. So I kind of made Coco crave it too, so then we had it for dinner. I am going to do some laundry. I'm feeling really tired all of a sudden. Like, you know when you feel tired and like your arms and your limbs just feel really heavy? That's how I'm feeling right now. I don't know how smart this is, but I need to set up some kind of online store for things that I don't want because my friends can tell you guys I have a lot of clothes. And I don't find it hard to give away the clothes because um, that's like easy. I've got sisters and I've got friends and I've got, um, yeah, they're places these clothes can go. But it's shoes that I find really hard to get rid of because firstly, they're like old season shoes. So I feel like no one's really going to want them. Like I just think to myself, okay, Esther, if you don't want them, who's really going to want them? Who? Mm, I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. We've got another bag of clothes that were delivered last week from Romway. So I'm going to have a haul, a February haul soon. That's going to be after, maybe clo closer to the end of the month. So, yeah, I'll do that closer to the end of the month. And it's Valentine's Day coming up soon. So I'm thinking of ideas for videos for that. For vowels. Vowels? For vowels there. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Coco's got a trip at school. So I need to set, uh, I need to prepare his pack lunch in the morning. And my body's been so off recently, you guys. I don't know why. I, I'm, I usually, I go to the toilet twice a day. And listen, if you guys know, if you're used to my vlogs by now, you know I talk about absolutely anything and I have no shame because we are all human. Embrace it, love it yeah um i go to the toilet twice a day in the morning sometimes like in the afternoon or in the evening but i poop twice a day usually but recently i haven't been and i've noticed this since maybe like december like november december sometimes i won't even poop for days and i've started paying attention paying more attention to it because I know it's very unlike me and I just don't know what to do like I'm literally trying everything I'm eating grapes I'm drinking like detox teas I am drinking I drink water all the time anyway I'm literally gonna go to Dorsten market and buy like 10 pounds worth of oranges and just sit down one day and just eat them all because I don't know what to do anymore I don't know what to do what else have I tried I've got Weetabix and I've got some oats so I'm gonna, I think before I sleep I'm gonna make some oats I'm gonna eat that because in the morning I want to dump a heavy load. And then I feel like I've kind of put on weight as well because I haven't been letting everything out. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions once again please help because I am in need. I really just want to dump. <laughs> like I don't think I've wanted to poo so bad. I'm not constipated. I don't have any pain. I don't have any discomfort down there but I've just noticed that my food isn't turning into poop fast enough and that's so unlike me and I think these kind of things are important as well. It's really good to listen to your body. It's really good to know how your body works because when something changes it has a ripple effect on the rest of your body and it's just kind of good to pinpoint what has changed and how to kind of tackle it 
if my mum was around, she would have given me all kinds of remedies by now. That had, all the load inside me would have dumped by now. But my mum was not around. My mum's travelled. She's gone away for about two months. So it's just Cox and I in the crib. I usually like to film on Fridays. Anything that would have been delivered from Monday that I need to film with. I have to film with so then I just do like one big bulk film on Fridays and then I edit them throughout the weekend as I edit I upload and I just keep them there so whenever I'm ready to put them up I just put them up that's why sometimes some videos seem like they were I don't know if you guys notice but some videos seem back dated so some information that I may have given compared to if you ask me in the present and I the information that I have then if you ask me in the present it may differ sometimes sometimes i like to film on fridays i like to bulk film on fridays it just helps me get everything done on one day so i have a lot to edit whenever i want to edit rather than filming one video uploading one video uploading it's a waste of makeup i haven't actually seen any of my friends this year i haven't seen tayo this year shout out to you girl i haven't seen abby this year shout out to you girl i haven't seen either of them this year it's crazy. Tola, I haven't seen since like my sister's wedding in October. Cause she came out, I believe. Yeah, I haven't seen her since October. Abigail, I saw her a couple weeks back. I feel like David, I haven't seen David. I ain't seen David since last year either. Probably won't see him till next year. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was meant to go to Italy for his birthday. But, you guys, I'm talking too much. This is so boring. This is so boring. I was going to go to Italy for his birthday, which is February 11th. But, um, I'm not going because I'm going away at the end of the month. So, it just allows me to save money rather than going away beginning of the month and going away again at the end of the month. Something has to give and it was David. David has to give. But I, I will, I plan to go and see him sometime in the year. Because it's just Italy, it's down the road. I try and see David once a year. I try and go and see him once a year. I just feel like if I lived in another country and I had friends elsewhere, I'd always love for them to come and see me. I'd like for them to make it an annual thing. Which would always be nice, especially if they're like friends that aren't friends, but they're friends that are family. Like, yeah. But that's it. That's everything. I think that's everything I need to update you guys on. It's a really good update session, isn't it? That's about it. This is Tayo. Ah. <laughs> ah. I was just telling them that I haven't seen you all year. That's true. I haven't seen this year, you know. I know. Happy New Year, guys. Oh. Uh, oh. Ah. Tayo, they love you natural. It's a whole battle. It's a whole battle. Bele. <laughs> Come on. It's a no. <laughs> Honestly, thank God for like FaceTime because you know. I know I haven't seen you this year. I haven't seen you this year. I feel like I see my friends all the time because we don't call, we FaceTime only. Yeah. Ever FaceTime. Thank God for that, otherwise I'd feel like so detached. Tuesday morning school run swag. Always the best. I'm telling you. If you see me on road, just holler. It's the school run swag. <laughs> Honestly, whatever I sleep in is what I take into school in. Like, I just don't, I throw this big coat on top and I'm out the door. <laughs> I just can't bother to look cute, no. Howdy, y'all. I'm sorry, earlier on my battery had died. So, earlier on my battery died, I came home and I just got on with the day and I charged the battery up. I'm going to get cokes from school now and then. I'm heading to the Indian High Commission because I need to pick up my passport. I'll give you details of all that when it's time. It is 10 past 3 and he finishes school in like 5 minutes but they always come out late and it's so annoying. Like They always come out at like 25 past and that's a good 10 minutes after they're supposed to come out. Jarring man and it's cold outside. You'll be standing there waiting for the kids to come downstairs. Also. I wanted to tell you guys, if you don't already know, I have an Afrobeat playlist on Spotify because I love Afrobeat. I am very cultural and I am very in tune 
with my Nigerianness, if you haven't noticed already. So I listen to a lot of Afrobeats. A lot. I listen to a lot of different music anyway, but Afrobeats is definitely one of the top genres of music that I listen to. So I've got a playlist on Spotify called Ultimate Afrobeats, and it's got like basically all different types of Afrobeats music that I've loved from when Afrobeats was popping, basically. So past and present hits and stuff that I kind of like really love. So it's got like albums like this. It's got more recent stuff like this as well. And then it's got like older stuff like this, Style Plus and whatnot. So if you guys love Afrobeats or you want to get into Afrobeats, go and check out this playlist. It's kind of like a nice, it's, it's, do you know what? I love having this playlist on when I'm like going out. I'm getting ready to go out because it just gives me that buzz. So yeah, go check it out. My profile on Spotify is, it's the same everywhere. That's my profile on Spotify. The playlist is called Ultimate Afrobeats. That's the only playlist that's like um, open. There's a few that I want to open up, but we'll get there when it's time. I think he might finish early today because they went on a trip and um, they went on a trip and they were supposed to be back at three. So they're probably obviously not going to get down to any work from 3 to 3.15 so they're probably going to be on time and then go over to High Commission and get my plastic, my Ike, like Nigerians like to call it, my passport. Don't ask me what Nigerians call it Ike, it's like a slang word. Ike means plastic. Bali. No, they call it ba Bali. Bali. Is it Bali or Ike? I don't know. You guys tell me. Now my, my Yoruba peeps, let me know. Do they call it? Hi. Hi. How are you? Do they call it Ike or Bali? I can't remember. Bali means box. Like cardboard and Ike means plastic. Just got the boy from school. Say hello, boy. <laughs> hey, lady. And we're going to get the bus. Miss Ah oh, Sugar, it's our bus. It's Jake Fem Production. Jake Fem Do you know when you do like such a long walk and you finally like get indoors in? Ah, you feel the strain. And then Wednesday, yesterday, I had a fitting with Nazir early in the morning. But I didn't sleep like Tuesday night, stroke Tuesday, stroke Wednesday morning. I just couldn't sleep. It was very, very unlike me, like, because once my head hits the pillow, I'm usually gone. But for some reason, I just couldn't get any sleep. And it hasn't happened to me in a long time. Like in a long, long time. So I spent most of Wednesday just resting when I got home from the fitting. I literally got indoors, took off my jacket, my shoes, and I dived into my bed. I didn't even take off my wig or my hat. I literally just jumped in bed. That's how tired I was. But then funnily enough, I only slept for like an hour and a half. And then I was up again for like the rest of the day. And then when I went to bed last night, I kept, I'd sleep for like two hours, I'd wake up, 
for about half an hour. I'd sleep for two hours, I'd wake up for half an hour. So I couldn't really sleep again last night. Um, anyway, taking Coco to school and I missed a delivery yesterday whilst I was at my fitting. So that's what I went to pick up from the post office. And it's from my friend. He works for Swarovski and he's very funny. I bought like a, they had like a sale. So he sent me the price list for the stuff that was going in the sale. So I bought like a necklace from them and that was like in December and I just haven't had the time to meet him and get it from him so I just asked him to kindly put it in the post for me. That's why I missed the delivery yesterday and he's so funny, look what he put on the card. He's cheeky, like Merry Christmas. It's funny. Um, so yeah, it's like a Swarovski Atelier piece. And it's a really cute necklace actually. I didn't realise it was going to be this big but it's huge. And it is gorgeous. It's a really gorgeous piece. I didn't think it was going to be this big. But yeah, it's a necklace. And the Seer orders back my spring summer 16 orders from him. Private orders. But I think I'm going to show you guys that in my next haul video, which I'm planning to film. If I don't film that tomorrow, then I'm going to film it um, next week because I've got some stuff coming in and I only want to do like one haul video a month. I don't want to have to do more than one. So I try and leave it till the end of the month so everything can kind of come in and then I film it at the end of the month rather than things constantly coming in and then constantly having to film another haul video and, or leaving it for the next month and the next month. Right, agenda today. Today we're doing our nails. They're coming with me to fix my nails. This pinky finger is off I'm going to fix my nails and then I might do my eyebrows to be honest the only eyebrow that needs doing is this one because for some reason it's grown out faster than this one has and plus I keep picking at my eyebrows I don't know why like I like the feeling of like picking at the hairs which has caused some hairs to obviously pluck out then I'm going to yeah, do my nails. I might do my eyebrows. Uh huh. Then I'm gonna book a wax on Groupon because um, I need that. And then I need to call Pulse Light Clinic to book my next appointment for my laser hair removal. I should have done this about two weeks ago. So I need to call them ASAP. I kind of want to leave it so that the hair grows back. We recommended that the longer you leave it and like when you see new growth of hair it's best to do it then rather than hitting the laser on follicles that have no hair growth in them that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to leave it for as long as possible i might do it on the sixth week or the seventh because at this moment there's no hair on my armpit at all nothing has come back since my last um treatment okay so i'm trying to relax because that was such a long walk so the sorting office so i've done my eyebrows and i've done my nails i'm just in the hair shop and i want to get some hair dye but i just don't know what color to do because i'm not i don't know what color to do because i've got some I know colours that suit me and whatnot. I've done pink before and I know that kind of suits me. I've done blue, blue all right. And I've done purple twice. I don't want to have to be purple again. And I don't have to be pink again. But I kind of want to do something quite bright for like the springtime. I'm thinking of just doing like a candy floss pink. I can't decide. So my nails. Did it a nude colour but this time matte. Typical, what's new? Always doing nude colours. Always. The man in the shop was like, don't take pictures. I was like, oh, of myself. He was like, yeah, no pictures. I was like, I can't take pictures of myself. And he was like, no, of yourself is fine. I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. Why are you telling me not to take pictures of myself? What do you know I'm gonna do with the camera? Don't be too fast. And I wanna make some oats. And I bought almond milk. I've been trying to get off of uh, cow's milk for a long time now like since i went to spain 
and obviously almond milk is made out of almonds and it's all natural it's unsweetened and all stuff like that and um you know that like cow's milk it's not exactly good for you but it's not bad for you because it doesn't kill you ever since i went to spain i learned a lot about cow's milk i don't really remember but all i remember is that it's not actually supposed to be ingested by human beings that's why some people end up being like lactose intolerant I picked up some Nutella for Coco's crumpets because he eats crumpets for breakfast. And I picked up some sausage, um, sausages, some strawberries which expire tomorrow so I've got to eat them between today and tomorrow. And yesterday, yeah, when I was eating oats, I made it with the regular milk that we have in the house, cow's milk. Like I was scrolling through Facebook, you know how like Facebook has kind of become Instagram, how you just scroll and scroll and scroll and you stumble upon this and that and then you find that you've been on Facebook for ages like watching videos and reading posts. I was now doing that on Facebook and as I was eating the oats with the cow's milk, I now like found bloody post about like cows and cow's milk and like the video was just so disgusting like I didn't even want to watch it but I was so intrigued like after watching like the first 10 seconds I was like oh so that's why I've now gone out and bought my almond milk again the only thing is almond milk can be quite expensive it's like between like a pound 60 something to like two pounds but this I think this was like one pound 50, 60, I don't know. It's like one, oh, and it's not even a lot. And remember when I told you guys like I couldn't poo? So like I've basically started like I've had this tea for a long time so I've just started like drinking it bin tea and it's not like a weight loss tea but it's like a detox tea so I've been trying to detox and hopefully that will kind of get my system like restarted this is the tea that you drink like in the morning and then this one you drink in the evening before dinner so I've been having this like pretty much every day for the past like week now I'm just trying to get my body back to being comfortable again and like getting rid of what it needs to get rid of rather than like keeping all that stuff inside me because obviously it's, it's not good for me and I've had my morning tea already today then I add these to my oats, some dried fruit and some macadamia nuts because I love macadamia nuts so I'm going to put some strawberries on top and here is what I'm eating I am going to catch up on The Walking Dead I don't think I've told you guys but I've started watching The Walking Dead and I am loving it yeah I'm on season, aside from season one, because obviously I hadn't watched it before in my life. Someone tell me why. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartbreak. So I started watching it like three weeks ago and oh my god, like I'm so into it. I, I, just, I just keep asking myself, why didn't I start watching this sooner? I'm so happy that I've managed to like catch up but at the same time I'm sad because now I have to like wait for each episode to come out and that's what bugs me out about like watching series stuff that's why I kind of like leave them to pile up and then I watch it I'm trying to do it with love and hip-hop um but I just can't like I love Cardi B I can't stay away like she makes me laugh <laughs> I love Cardi B <gasps> ah, my name is Cardi B and I am from the Bronx <laughs> yeah so then now that I've, i'm all caught up i now have to like wait for um the walking dead season six so i'm trying to like take it slow and like watch season five as slowly as possible and i started watching making a murder as well but because i'm watching it with somebody else and i promised that person that okay we'll watch it together we were supposed to be watching the walking dead together but that person is so busy like they just don't have my time and because i'm obviously i stay indoors most of the time and i'm editing and whilst i'm like doing other things i'm i have walking dead on so i can watch that easily i can watch anything easily so i promised the other person like my friend that okay listen we'll watch making a murderer together being that i kind of ditched you on the walking dead and I've only been able to watch like half an episode of the first episode of Making a Murderer. I really want to get into it, but I promised that I'd wait because I flopped on The Walking Dead. So now I'm like biting my tongue because I'm so desperate to click on Making a Murderer and just watch it. But I can't. I have to be true to my promises. Hey guys. I think I'm crazy. I think, I think you're a little Sunday crazy morning. Right now. You can't 
I don't think I've vlogged since like Thursday because literally this is all I've been doing for this weekend. I have some videos to film, not in that vibe, not in that headspace, not really, not this weekend. I said to myself on Friday, usually I do them on Fridays, so I said to myself, oh, I'll do it on Friday. That didn't happen, so I was like, okay, I have all day Saturday to do it. That didn't really happen. And then, I was like, well, at least I have Sunday, all day Sunday I can do it. I haven't made an attempt to make that happen. I've literally been sat here watching Tamar and Vince since I woke up because I knew that the new season had started, but I hadn't like gotten into it at all. And I think it started like last year. I finished watching The Walking Dead, so I'm all caught up now. I'm just waiting for obviously February the 14th to come and then like the new, more episodes of the new season. The funny thing about me is that I like watching things that I'm behind on so I can watch a whole load of them. Now that I'm all caught up with The Walking Dead, I just feel like, ugh. I really want to watch it anymore. <laughs> like, now I know everything that's kind of going on. You know, it's, it's going to be such a chore to try and watch it every week now. So what I might do is just let the whole season end whenever that's going to be. So I'm just going to let, like, the rest of the seven or eight episodes air. And then in, like, nine weeks' time, just watch everything all at once but i'm getting into tamar and vince and that is what i'm watching my laptop and my bed have literally been my best friend this whole literally been bay this weekend this is the episode where tamar is watching her brand new video angels and demons which i have watched myself and i think that is probably her best video she looks amazing in every shot the layout the scene the composites everything just looks incredible like the color grading there's so much richness in the colors I think they could have done a bit more of the editing like it's really quite soft but I like I like the whole vibe of the video I think she looks stunning the song is good too and just the video just blew me away I want to go make breakfast it's like 10 oh it's 11 22 I want to go make breakfast I'm gonna make oats and drink my thin tea that I've been drinking I feel like it's helped um clear like all my bloatedness last month I really felt very very bloated like the end of december towards mid january i was really bloated didn't know why but i've started drinking thin tea from the end of jan and i i don't feel the bloatedness anymore i mean i pee a lot normal because you're constantly drinking these teas and water i try and balance them out with water as well throughout the day so i'm forever like peeing do you guys want to see how i went to the shops it's how i went to the shops in my robe in my hat i basically went to get honey because i've have been eating these oats with almond milk for like the whole week now and i've just noticed that sugar doesn't sweeten almond milk just took a bath washed my body and clean again then when you're bumming at home and I better be in this video. Why well, I'm in this video? In reality. You don't want to take a shower. But I took a shower today. And I'm talking to David. Bye. On FaceTime. Bye. There she is. I want to say hi. Hello. From the other side. That's enough. Can you stop? <laughs> <laughs> and I found, for some, I don't know where I found it, but I found this wig. It turns out I've actually dyed it, bleached it. And now I want to, I was watching Tamar and Vince and she had this really nice like ombre wig, obviously. And it was like just nice and golden, like her makeup, the hair, everything just looked really good. And for some reason I found this the other day, so I dug it out again. And I've got some boxes of hair dye, so I'm gonna like, so I'm gonna try and do the top of it. So it's a bit more brown at the top, like here, a bit more brown, and then it will grade into the bleach that's already been bleached, basically. So I want the top to be a lot more darker. And I bought, bleh, I've got some hair dye that I bought like l last year that I've not used, so I'm gonna use those. Oh, and I need to sneeze. I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna do that on another day because I need to get ready. You know winter time, you never get to wear dresses. I'm trying to get David to help me, but 
It's funny how every time he needs outfit help, he'll be sending me ten pictures and shit. <laughs> did, you did, you, did you not show me any options? No, you didn't. <laughs> but when I need help, I'm like, David, I need you to dress me. And he's like, uh, I'm not good at dressing people. Eh. It's not the point. You're just supposed to help me pick something. Anyway, you know, like winter time, you don't really feel like wearing dresses. I only get like that like when I'm on my time of the month like I don't want any like trousery interference I'm not on my time of the month I just feel like wearing a dress because I have so many dresses and I never get to wear them and plus I haven't been going out recently so I have nowhere to wear them to but today I want to wear a dress this is the dress I wore for my graduation it's like a sleeveless like a polo neck dress it's like midi and it's got a split down the two sides <clears throat> this one from ASOS. and then this one from Zara that I bought when I was in Paris it's just like a vest type long ribbed midi dress I've worn it in one of my get ready videos and I want to wear it with like maybe some cute booty heels shoe type thing David's not helping still I just want to be in a dress do you like David's hair anyway his hair's grey you can't really see it on this FaceTime it looks better it's coming out blue for some reason but go on his Instagram I'm gonna put it in the bottom here yeah look it looks really nice on him he had to cut it shorter because he had a little mishap if you follow his, <laughs> if you follow his snapchat you may have been able to hear what the mishap was but i think he looks really nice he was blonde like two years ago but i feel like this suits him a bit better now i'm gonna go get ready right? beyonce to kids that is right i got my formation From the water uh, from the water what it was like getting water from the tap it was so easy you know when something is so easy that you think hmm something's gonna happen but oh my god y'all that was like the easiest tickets I've ever had to buy even going to see Kalani gave me more trouble then go and see Beyonce. Is Beyonce fading out? I don't know. Like, are people's... Is the hype to see her fading away? Because I remember when she did the Mrs. Carter show. And we, my friend, myself, Abigail and Tola, all three of us, and Abigail's boyfriend, he, we were all on our computers, obviously in different locations, trying to get tickets. And none of us... No, wait. Who was I think Tola was successful. I think Tola was able to get three. Um, I think maybe she got more. Yeah, I think she got more and she sold them. She, that was so much stress. And that was three years ago, 2013. Like, how was this much easier? This was the pre-sale pre -sale tickets I was just able to get. Self, I was saying to myself, like, I mean, if I don't get to see her, it's cool. Like, you know, it's okay. I've saved myself. But, like, 90-something pounds. But is the hype dying down? Like I'm even still on the website and I'm refreshing and stuff and you can still get these pre-sale tickets for London. When usually, I remember when it was the the Mrs. Carter show, pre-sale, I think they did it on the O2, was on the O2, O2 priority. That was gone, like before you knew it. It was so gone. I actually don't know where my tickets are gonna be delivered to. I don't know if it's gonna be delivered to my house. If I meant to pick them up somewhere, I just, I was literally clicking continue, putting in all my details, continue, continue. I, I don't even remember what I bought. I may have bought like fucking VIP tickets backstage and I wouldn't even know. I actually need to look through it because at this point, I don't remember. I was just like in such, and like, uh, I couldn't breathe. I, I don't know if my heart was beating. I was just like spazzing out. But yeah, I'm gonna see Beyonce, I'm gonna see Beyonce, I'm gonna see Beyonce. I'm so happy, I couldn't be happier. Now I need to book that wax, that wax that I said I was gonna book before, and now I need to do it 
group on. How are you guys though? Sorry I didn't, um, so I didn't manage to film on Sunday or Monday, which was yesterday. Thank God today's Tuesday. Looking forward to the weekend. I can't wait for the weekend to begin. Friday I was on the phone to Tola for pretty much like the whole day because we haven't seen each other in a bit as well. So we were just like talking, catching up, literally talking about everything, which was really nice. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see them before I go away. I think I'm going to arrange that because I'm going to miss them so much. Plus, I haven't seen Tola since last year. So it'll be nice to, like, hang out before I go. I'm definitely going to have a lot of stuff that I'm going to try and, like, do whilst I'm away. Just so that I'm not absent um, on my channel. So I think that's what I'm trying to get together now. I'm trying to get together, like, a whole load of content. At least film a lot of stuff so whilst I'm away I can edit and post so I, I'm I'm not like bored when I have downtimes and stuff. Monday didn't do much chilled got home cooked for cooks he had some dinner and he wasn't really feeling well yesterday but he's better now and that's it. I'm gonna film tomorrow you guys I'm gonna film tomorrow please make sure I film I'm, I have to film tomorrow. I like to film when I have like a long stretch of time for example when Coco goes to school and he's gonna have like after school activities and stuff i then say okay i'm gonna film because he's gonna be home quite late but when you only have like six hours so if I, I drop him at school like nine and then i come home get myself ready do my makeup and everything prep where i'm gonna film what i'm gonna film it would be about 11 12. so by the time i start filming it's like one and then if i want to film multiple videos i find that from 1 to 3.15 when I have to pick him up from school. It's just not enough time. So, yeah. So, because tomorrow he's got after school activities. I've got, like, the whole evening, basically. So, I've got from, like, if I say I start filming around 1, 12 or 1. I've got from then till, like, 6, 7, 8 to finish. So, which is much better than me having to, like, rush, rush, rush. Especially if I'm doing, like, hauls and I need to try things on. So, I have to film them and then try them on. That takes a lot of time. Or if I want to do, like, a lookbook, that takes a lot of time as well. Because it's changing back and forth, back and forth. So, yeah, but sit-down videos is very easy. Especially if I have to do, like, one. But I don't like just doing one video. I like to utilise my makeup. Like I've told you guys in the past. I like to util utilise the makeup on my face because I don't like to wear makeup every day and I uh, quite frankly I like the process of putting on makeup every day is long let's not lie and I don't do it and I don't wear makeup if I'm not going out and when I mean out I mean like out on a day out meeting friends activities club party event um I won't be wearing makeup unless I'm going out if I'm going out to meet a friend for like an hour or two I'm not wearing makeup if I'm, I don't know, going to my friend's house, I'm not wearing makeup. So I have to have a good reason to wear makeup. You guys, when I say everyday makeup routine, I mean a makeup routine whereby I don't want to have to think about what colour I'm going to use or whatever. So it's just like my go-to, like the one that I would use on an everyday basis just because it's the most convenient to do go to you know like when you have like your everyday shoes like the shoes that you just throw on when you want to go down the sh road to the shops or your everyday jacket just the jacket that you throw on and just i guess everyday is not the right word to use i don't wear makeup every day i don't wear i don't even put on eyebrows i don't put on foundation i don't put on anything it's i it's all or nothing and somebody i think somebody commented on my last vlog saying Esther, it's funny how like you either have makeup on or you don't like you two extremes and that's just me I, I i don't know how to wear eyebrows on their own i think it looks silly i don't know how to put on eyelashes unless i've got a full face of makeup i can't wear lipstick i think it looks silly i'm not gonna put on blush like i'm not gonna do anything unless i am going to wear my face here's you guys best friend You guys' best friend. <laughs> Say hi to your best friend. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? I am tired. Oh, same but let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Um I was trying to vlog when I was in the house, but it wasn't working because I was trying to like get ready to get out. But um I'm with your best friend again. <laughs> All of your best friends. And we're going to Coco Cure. I wanted to go out because I feel like I haven't been out in ages. Like we haven't even been cinema in a while, innit? Esther, I think this is the first time I've seen you this year. Happy New Year, by the way. No. 
I'm sure I've seen you. I ain't seen you this year. The, oh, the happy holy new year. year. Happy new year. Exactly. The holy January. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, happy no, new year, Olu. I know. That's so sad. We haven't like been to the cinema this year. Yeah, we haven't really. Yeah. I haven't seen him really. Last time I saw you was near the end of it last year, innit? What did we do? What did we do? We did something. Yeah. But that was the last time I saw him. <laughs> um probably the couldn't have been the vlog. It was the vlog. When we went to the cinema. We went thing. Um We went to What's that place called Winter Wonderland, isn't it? I think that's the last time I saw you. Oh really? Well, maybe I saw you after that. Okay, well, we're going to Coco Cure. Um, Olugo is playing, you guys know Olugo Shion, Tayo's brother. He's playing with his band. Coco Cure, they've got this whole new setup, which is which I think is quite cool. They try and like incorporate acts and um, stuff into the night rather than it just being a club night. And so they've picked up Olugo for one night. And hopefully, it should be good. I keep getting distracted as I'm talking. I don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> I'm like staring oh. at stuff when I'm talking and I'll stop and I'll keep staring. Ologo's playing, so we're going to see him. And just to have a good night. I ain't seen him in a little while. Yeah, I haven't like, I feel like I haven't been out in so long. <gasps> oh, the last time I went out was the last Coco Cure event in December. Like last time I went to a party. Was that the last time I saw you? That might have been the last time I saw you. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was yeah, the last was the time we saw each other. December, like twenty second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, twenty no, no. after Christmas. After Christmas, after Christmas yeah. yeah. Twenty eighth or something, yeah, like, something that. like that. That was. That was the last time I saw you. That was a good night. We went duck and walk. We went duck and walk for. Mhm. But yeah, that was the last time I saw. Hey, this petrol station might be the only one. Last time I saw this guy. So yeah, I haven't been up to much either. That's why I feel like I shouldn't really vlog because I'm I've literally just been in the house editing. You know what it's been called? Yeah, not just that, but there's just nowhere to go. And plus, um, yeah, there's just nowhere to go. Seriously. Actually, that's not true. There's places to go because we always find places to go. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> babysitting issues. It's a hard. It's hard being a mum. It's hard. Hard times. My mum's been away for a while, so I haven't really been able to go out in the evenings, which is when we usually go to the cinema. So in case you guys always think, where's her child when she's always out? He's at home with his grandparent, be being looked after, yeah. But yeah, that's it. So my mum's been away for a while. That's why I haven't been able to go out in the evenings. And obviously it's cool, it's fine. Now I kind of know that feeling that like mums get, like single, really when i say single i mean parents who live on their own who don't really have that much help around them now i know what they feel like um and respect out to you guys obviously it's still difficult for me even with my mum around because i i take my responsibility as it is but um i have that bit of leeway because she does help out a lot um and i just haven't had that recently and i'm just like what am i gonna do with my life am i gonna sit indoors all the time but thank god she's coming back soon and I'll be able to resume weekday programmings. Just wearing a coat for now because it's cold and I've got my got my, my jumpsuit thingy on from Fashion Nova. It's like a one piece. And some like my favourite black barely there heels. And that is all. I've got my favourite lashes on as well. Um me your lashes in a door so I can't stop looking up. It's my jam. Oh no, it's not my jam. I thought it was, <laughs> um, I thought it was the <laughs> Corridor Below. I am so in love with that song, you guys. Romantic. What is this, Ole? No, no, no. How do you work this phone? Oh, 
trying to open it. Yeah. Right. It wasn't working. And you guys really need to quit this whole me and Ulu need to be together. Like seriously, it's not every time you see a guy with a girl or that a girl is with a guy and they are friends that they need to be together. That's how you ruin relationships. It's not like that. Not all the time. And plus, everybody that keeps saying, oh my God, Esther, the way you look at Olu, I'm just like, how do I look at you? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Should I look at you in disgust all the I time? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I want someone to do for me? And meet plus, us. I want someone to meet us at that cinema place and then to see them, actually to how we get on. Exactly. Like, if you guys were to see me around somebody that I actually like, I wonder what I look like then. Am I all like rainbows and fairies and my eyes are constantly lit up and I'm smiling all the time <laughs> like what do I act eyes. like some yeah, around someone that I actually like like in that way I'm not saying that I don't I, I, I mean family. That's yes family. exactly family. I don't hate all of you family but geez y'all you need to see me around bay and then we'll be talking shit I'm cool but still <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I play it cool alright we just got here it's there Light, so. I'm gonna leave my camera in the car because huh? so I'm leaving my camera in the car because I don't want it to disappear. I'm gonna go out and try and record the guys, the cubs. Over. Oh, are you here? I'm here. I wanted to go and find them guys. Okay. Did you have fun? Uh, what do you call them? Yeah. <laughs> I think people quite like the live band. Let's find the live band. It's a logo. It was amazing. Thank you for watching me. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Hello, give me a day. E jumps, e jumps, can you tell us how it went? If you need my number, you can have Francis 477 337. Oh my god. Samson, can you tell us how it went? Very good. It's all good. Hello, Edo. Yeah, by the way, the man Wami. Okay, no, so. In translation, if you're looking for him, he's here. I'm he's available here. to the nation. <laughs> Only you need to go. <laughs> Show available. No! <laughs> I'm available. Yes, I have two kids, but I'm available. <laughs> but anyway, it's done. Music. I'm really hungry. Oli, are we going to find something to eat? Yeah, that's, that's not my goal. Anyway, anyway, we're going to Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I wish Bagel King was around here. This is Mr. Coco Kyo. I heard the guy singing like, God knows, six years ago at Joseph's wedding. No, Joseph was outside. Was it Joseph? He was, was, it? He was outside. He was saying, like, oh, he didn't have shoes or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you were really good. Six years ago. Really this guy can sing. Like, but you guys know that already. You guys have heard a logo sing. There's yeah, multiple, multiple, multiple him sing it. Our, our manager here. Yeah. Hey. Our manager here. Yeah. He should be a basketball player. I just had a voice in my ear. My manager. More to come next month. Yeah, more to come next month to be there. Yeah, we're gonna be there. Yeah, you guys, we're oh, here. Month. Well, yeah. they are, they are here I look, I look, I look every Friday. <laughs> Normally, I don't look this good. <laughs> The power of my camera. We all live in Essex, so I so work by Lazy Essex. So. Nobody knows, it's your video. Ah, Olu go give us a song, I beg. No, no, you can take over, don't worry. No, you can take over. Olu, yes. I'm the lady who's guy, you know. We love him. No more guy. Yeah, for real. I'm gonna drop his number. I'm gonna drop his number. You know what? Okay. Olu's gonna drop his number. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. If I if I want to, I'll drop my number. No, he's not. You're taking it too far. No, he's not. Seven. Cinema sessions. Who's who's coming to the cinema? Snapchat. No, no, no. Follow me on Snapchat. I'll, I'll follow you, I'll follow you. Mr. Logo. Mr. Logo. On Instagram. Hey. Okay, what do you want? You fight? You fight? You fight? You fight? You fight? You fight? Oh shit, you can fight, aren't you? Mm. Is that look that you said I do? Yeah, it's just a normal look, innit? When you're feeling yourself, you just get the... 
Some of you now say, oh my god, that's my brother. Or that's my sister's husband's best friend. I don't want anybody's job, bro. Bye. 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 We're going to find something to eat. Um, Where are we in this I don't know. I know that 24. The Ross Club. I know that. Oh, oh, shame it. I've got the key. I know there's a 24 hour bagel shop. Should we go to the bagel shop? We could. On um, brick. Oh! I'm so happy that I can get in this car and there's going to be some heating. Waiting for me. <laughs> if you go out to see a crowd, then probably going out for the wrong reason. But Video I enjoyed was myself. Point. DJ was good. Video was quite Sean as usual. Sean was good as usual. Okay, we're going to go and find somewhere to eat now. You guys, these guys are crazy. Trust me. I don't think you see, you haven't seen them in their full glory. <laughs> and this was probably part of it. You probably see Sean in the house, always quiet. But yeah, this is them. Blame Esther, man. And everyone's trying to sell their stuff on their, my channel now. It's like this is some kind of see they've started it, so I'm saying it's <laughs> some well. kind of dating. I would say it as I well. don't know. Message me. Oh, what are you I talking feel, about? Oh my god. If I feel like it, I might just give you my number. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, uh, you lot need to Let's stop. See. Anyway. Yeah, might gave out his number, so I'm not gonna give mine out. I, I don't I think I'm gonna right. cut his number out. No, leave it on. No! Oh my god, no! Oh Lord Jesus. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay, but we're on to find something to eat. Fingers crossed. We're successful. Bagel shop. Bagel, food, food, bagel, food, food. Ouch. I'm in love again. <laughs> a vision of beauty. What they got? You, he gave you beauty as well. That's it. That's it. Tuna mayo and sweet corn. Yes. Look at that. That one. Right there. Mm -hmm. I'm not worthy to gain from your beauty. But I said it. The game you lose, but no, you choose. I am not worthy. Up, choose. Everybody knows that I, I am not back. worthy to gain from your beauty. For you are oh, beauty personified. How did you get that line? Oh. Hello, <laughs> well. <laughs> it's like, please! Yeah. Why did you get that? Why did you get that? Why did you get that? It's okay. Cool, Don't ask me about something that I would just like. That night I died. I want people to ask me who I don't know too well. I just. Yeah, but if you want to fight me, fight me. I don't want to fight, I'll kill you. I'll, I'll, I'll go mad as well. I've got a lot of shit that's going on in my head. If you want to fight me, fight me. Don't touch me like that. Don't touch me like that. Not in the end. Oh, because of what? I'm weavering to the fucking no, pavement. No, I'm weavering to the fucking pavement. No. There's no then don't, don't go, 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 What's the salt beef one now? Like? Mm. Mm. Is it right. really salty? Mm. 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 So that was weird. <laughs> we just came in here to get a bagel. <laughs> okay, so how was that for you? Um, welcome to Berlin, I guess. <laughs> I've never experienced that on Brick Lane before. Have you? 
first time. Everyone's always so like. I'm clubbing in the brick lane and then afterwards, which is basically the aftermath. Of the I've been clubbing in brick lane, but I've never this is like. Oh, no, no. You need to come back, you need to come back and finish and come to the baby. This is the spot in it. Well, I don't know what to say. After that, um, very strange. <laughs> Encounter. We got our bagels. Here we go. Oh, you got a chicken, man. Yeah, don't eat and drive. It's not good. <laughs> and I got a tuna sweet corn and mayo. It's really, really good. You can eat and drive as long as you're. If you're not as good as me, then don't eat and drive. <laughs> you can't eat and drive. I can, but I'm on camera, so I don't even want to eat now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because uh, uh. of all the comments, I got to put a fine boy image on that. Oh my god. Mm. You guys have started something serious. <laughs> no, I'm on board. I, I appreciate it, all of them. I don't know how we're going to get over this. Appreciate all of them. Especially to the one, there was one comment that said that one one girl said hello to me. She's like, hi, Olivia. And I said, hi back. I'm saying hello. So it's me, yeah, I'm saying hello. <laughs> you said hello already. <laughs> I did, but. For every she sound, comment she sounded that surprised. said your name. She said, <laughs> sounded surprised like I wasn't going to message back. So I'm saying I'm saying hello in person, isn't it? She said hello. Hello. Mmm, it's so good. Oh my god. Am I might feel this room. Alright, fam. That bagel was good. The bagel king is the best. Mm. We need to do that again, take a trip there and just buy a bunch of bagels. Oh my god, the last time I went to Bagel King, I bought like eight jerk chicken bagels, like two apple crumble and custard. Just went crazy stupid in Bagel King. I only bought like three or four. Hmm. You finished in two days. Me, I ate those bagels for like a week. Oh, it was so good. Bagel King and Campbellwell. Is it Campbellwell? Um, Woolworth Road. Yeah. yeah. Oh, South people. And have a, a wider selection of like fillings for your bagel. And there's one in Brick Lane. They're more traditional. More traditional fillings. And then their special one is the salt beef. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Back to the comments as well. One more comment. Oh one my more God. comment. <laughs> I'm saying love. I'm saying. I'm saying love back to the person that said that we love you as well. So I love you lots too. <laughs> you guys, what have you started? What have you guys created? If you see me on the road, I probably blush. That's how bad it is. <laughs> <laughs> probably will. Well, you guys are really sweet, though. Um, I'm gonna say bye for now. Can you say bye? Bye. Until next time again, isn't it? Until next time. Once I get in, I'm going, taking my face off and diving into my bed. Yes, I don't even wanna know. Same. I don't know anything concerning the outside world for another few hours. My phone is going on silent. I say you don't want to drink. I've got like plenty of water from my house. No, 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 I'm going to waste nothing. I've got, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, bye.